Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Speaksy and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video to the channel and this is sort of a different video than what I'm used to and what you guys are used to watching but this video is basically just telling you guys that Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered or Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered or MWR however you want to call it is now free on the PS4 PlayStation Plus store. This is probably the best game that has ever been released on the PS Plus mainly because it is a very very good game not because it's obviously Call of Duty and obviously I'm a Call of Duty fan but this game is truly one of the best games uh, out there at this point because I know a lot of games are pretty dead at this point <clears throat> but yeah if you guys want to play Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered all you have to do is in the next 30 days until January, February, April uh, what's it? April the 5th as, as, until April the 5th you can now play Modern Warfare Remastered for free this isn't obviously a month only basically I'm trying to say is all you have to do is go to the downloads and press purchase and it'll be free and it'll be added to your library and it's all the, uh, the whole time you have PS Plus this game will be free if you don't have PS Plus this game will not be free uh, and if you run out of PS Plus, it's still and you uh, and like obviously uh, you can't play online. You still wouldn't be able to play the single player because this game requires PS Plus to play. And I think this is a really cool idea, and I think Activision have definitely done a good job with this because this game at this point is pretty dead. Uh, you, the most you could probably find is around 20, 20 lobbies on the game of Team Deathmatch and around ten lobbies of Domination and a few games of SMD, and that's really about it. But yeah, if you guys want to play Modern Warfare Remastered, all you have to do is, yeah, basically download the game and you'll have it. Like I'm saying, Modern Warfare Remastered is now free. Uh, if you guys want to download it, you can. Uh, this video is sort of obviously promoting it and telling you guys that you can download it. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not, uh, Activision hasn't told me to do this or anything like that. Uh, just to let you guys know that I'm not being paid to say all this because even though I've yeah i've only got 500 subscribers so why would they but in my opinion this game is amazing let's start off with the campaign i completed it on the ps4 but then i got a ps4 pro and it wiped everything i had all the intel cheats i had everything but uh yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying this video if you do make sure to drop a like and subscribe just to uh, let you guys know uh, i will be probably streaming this game later tonight as well but yeah, obviously, uh, the campaign, very solid campaign. It takes you through uh, different, like, wartime type of things. It takes you through, like, uh, different countries and stuff like that. I'm not really the best of describing it. All I know is that I had a ton of fun playing it. I'm up to all gillied up now. This is the best mission of all time in Call of Duty. And I'm probably going to make a video on it. That's why I probably haven't done it yet. But yeah... The campaign alone is amazing. They've definitely blown themselves away with the graphics and all that stuff like that. Uh, it's exactly the same. They haven't changed any of the storylines or anything like that from the original. But yeah, it's still a very, very good campaign. And then you have the multiplayer. The best thing in this game. Excuse the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. That is because if you purchase the bundle that you can now play Infinite Warfare. If you guys, if you guys get this PS Plus uh, for free, you won't have that or you won't be able to actually play that. You have to have Infinite Warfare to actually use that. But yeah, the next thing is obviously the multiplayer. I will be showing a couple of... I will be playing a game for you guys to watch and... Um, yeah, enjoy but uh yeah the, the camp the multiplayer is amazing it's uh very straightforward it's just boots on the ground just shooting each other capturing objectives there's no exo jumps there's no wall running there's uh there's no like special things like are in the newer cods the uh, the only downside of this game is that they ruined it by adding supply drops i know as soon as everyone hears that word they're like for fuck's sake uh fuck activision all that shit the supply drops in this game is actually pretty decent i'm not gonna lie the system is pretty fair uh, i will explain it for you guys but basically it's called the depot and as soon as you log on i'm pretty sure as soon as you guys will log on if you uh, are downloading it and playing it today or any other day uh, as soon as you get this game you will start off with i think 30 keys and i think 500 salvage but what you can see on the top of my screen oh i don't want to go in private match um I will quickly hide my webcam for you guys uh, as you can see on the top of the screen you have depot credits which is the keys with the lightning bolt in and then you have the gear with the skull on it that is basically your salvage 
so what this basically does is the keys are like crypto keys from black ops 3 you obviously earn them through game uh playing the game and actually uh spending time uh doing challenges and stuff well you don't do never mind um and then obviously you have the salvage uh but that basically the salvage is if you don't get your weapon through supply drops or you don't get the camo or the skin you can basically purchase it straight up you can just go into here say you wanted i don't know this emblem you could purchase it but i don't have enough parts obviously the main thing that probably a lot of people got annoyed at was the fact that they added dlc weapons into this game obviously it's a remaster and if it's a remaster it's just it should stay true to the roots but basically people kept asking for new things to the game because it's getting quite boring and a lot of people weren't really playing it so they decided to add alpha beta weapons or something like that i read a uh, i read a file that, or a reddit post actually and it basically said that a lot of these guns like the uh mac 10 uh smg and the boss 14 and the xmlr and uh i think the d25s or it was the s tech aggressor were already in the game files in the pre-alpha stage of call of duty 4 the original so they basically decided to you know what let's add them into the game and i think they've done a very good job of it this this sniper it's not broken or anything like that most of the dlc guns are pretty fair i'd say the one that probably isn't the fair is the boss 14 it's quite overpowered uh i think it does lead a little bit of a nerf but obviously the game's been out for too long so they probably won't but uh yeah if you can if you can get this gun you'll definitely dominate and have a blast with it but yeah the multiplayer playlist is definitely full of some amazing game modes and i'd say the main one that i play is team deathmatch domination and search and destroy but obviously with a modern warfare remastered came some new game modes and uh, some really cool game modes at that i definitely think this game was used as a testing site for the future things that are going to be in cod but as you can see on screen here we have prop hunt if you don't know what prop hunt, here, prop hunt is, then you must be living under a rock. I'm not going to explain it, but basically, it's just a hella fun game mode. And as soon as you log on, it's free for everyone. Uh, and obviously, you have your hardcore playlist, and then you have the classic playlist, which is uh, definitely weird. You've got old school, sabotage, headquarters, team tactical, and cage match, which is like a 1v1, basically. But the main thing is the weekend warfare. It says weekend warfare, but they've basically left it in for permanent now because so many people asked for it. You have snipers only, you have RPGs only, you have slasher, demolition, and capture the flag. Slasher is like Michael My Mike Myers. If you never played Mike Myers back in the day with Modern Warfare 2, you know, marathon, uh, lightweight, running around trying to melee each other, it's basically there's 12 people, 11 people uh, have a pistol and no ammo, and the guy has a melee. You basically have to run away, you can't shoot most people just hide i occasionally get into the glitch spot where it's quite fun and it's quite hard to get to um but yeah slasher is a hella fun game mode and it's in here permanently but yeah <laughs> enough talking enough blabbering let's just jump into a game of team deathmatch and uh yeah let's do this team all right we are hopping in to a game of team deathmatch on showdown showdown is probably one of the best maps in the game uh, it's just a little block, but uh, the more you play this game, trust me, the more you'll learn about the maps. We already have some noobs. We've got a level 3, we've got a level 4, we've got a level 1. I definitely think this game is going to increase the player base, especially later tonight when a lot of, obviously, the kids are off school. Uh, and they are... Oh. oh. Okay, no, we can get the no scope. But yeah, this game mode, this game itself is really fun to play. Hopefully the game audio is not too loud. But uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying this video, <laughs> leave a like on it. It's always appreciated. We're going in right now. Picking up weapons. Meant to be using the Barrett, but you know. Oh, you're on the floor. Oh, you scumbag. <laughs> but yeah, this... Uh, the game itself is fun to play. Uh, obviously, it's nothing amazing or special or anything like that. It's not going to be the next Fortnite because obviously the game's already been out. There is no Battle Royale for you Battle Royale nerds out there that can't play anything but a Battle Royale. Because, you know, you've got to go in with the trend. Can we hit something? Nope, we can't. Uh, 
Right, I think there's someone over here. Right, let's, let's get him with the melee. Ah! Okay, I guess he's Marty Dom, for fuck's sake. Move. Ah. Oh. Let's head up here, see what we can do. Hopefully they're respawning over here. Um, I don't think so. I think we've just... They've only got eight kills. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, like, is this game ever going to be updated or anything like that? Uh, are they ever going to add any new things to it? At this current stage, I don't think they are. I think they're finished updating this game. Raven's moving on to helping with the next Call of Duty, obviously Modern Warfare 4 and the Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered, uh, which has obviously been leaked and stuff like that. They are helping with that. The game doesn't really have hackers or anything like that. Um, the worst you'll probably find is just some, just some douchebag in a glitch spot. That's really about it. Ah, come on. Yeah, the most you'll find is probably a douchebag in a glitch spot. That's really about it. Um, can we get him? Can we get him? No, we can't. Some trash. Wow, there wasn't even anyone up there. Alright, he's dead. He's dead. There was a teammate behind me the whole time. There was a teammate behind him, sorry, and the teammate didn't kill him. He was level 4. Level 1, sorry. That's the downside of having this game become free. You're going to have little tiny noobs on your team and on the enemy team. It's still going to be a hell of fun and I do recommend uh, getting this game. Even if, you're, even if you're sick and tired of hearing about you know Call of Duty and stuff like that. You're one of those people that doesn't like Call of Duty. Uh, you think it's stupid that they release a game every year. This is still probably the best remaster that's ever existed in the whole of remastering games. In my opinion. Can we, uh, can we get around here? Yep, he's dead. Ah, oh, okay. Right, let's get a nade through this guy's legs. Can we do something? He's AFK. I'm getting killed by level fucking... What is he? Level 3 and he killed me. Fuck's sake. But yeah, the, the kill streaks in this game are nothing special. It's just 3 kill streak, you get a UAV. 5 kill streak, you get an extra airstrike. And 7 kill streak, you get an attack, attack chopper. That's really it. There's no tactical nuke. There's no gunship, there's no uh, attack dogs or anything like that. It's just base, UAV, airstrike, helicopter. And I really think that is the best thing for this game. Uh, and obviously when the game was first released, it was game breaking to be honest. It was like, whoa, really? Attack chopper, airstrike, UAV? God damn, they've given this game a lot of things. But yeah, basically this game is becoming free i'm not the best at live commentaries and cut comms and stuff like that but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up if you want to see me stream this game today uh because i am feeling a lot better uh i was on i was at a night out on saturday 
and uh yeah i was recovering uh sunday and monday um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see it as a stream let me know in the comments and uh yeah if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe we are on 522 subscribers uh it's always appreciated for any new people and uh yeah follow my twitter will be down in the description to uh keep updated with everything i do and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out